Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Transocean reported first quarter financial results this week, and, and it told us a lot about what the offshore drilling market looks like right now. There were some points of strength and there was some points of weakness, actually a lot of weakness in these results. So I want to dig into exactly what the numbers look like and what to think about offshore drilling right now. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And let's dig right into the results. All right. And here you can see first quarter results, $649 million in revenue compared to 606 a quarter ago. And but net loss was $465 million or 64 cents per share compared to $350 million in the fourth quarter of 2022. Adjusted EBITDA, which is kind of a proxy for cash flow for companies like this, $217 million compared to $140 million in the prior quarter. You can see here what drove a lot of that loss, $169 million on disposal of assets. This drilling company is just getting rid of assets that aren't going to be able to find work in the future. I'll get to the numbers in just a second, but even, even though oil has gone up significantly from its pandemic lows, we're still not seeing a lot of drilling activity, particularly offshore. So that's impacted the long-term value of these assets. And companies have to choose, are they going to keep them around and hope that a contract comes along sometime in the next couple of years, or are they just going to get rid of them and dispose them? So $169 million in assets was lost there, and then $32 million loss on a retirement of debt. Here's the income statement. Here's the revenue number, but we're still having an operating loss. And I think that's really the jarring number for Transocean, because as oil prices have recovered, we should see companies that are that are providing services to oil explorers start to be profitable at this point. If they're ever going to be profitable, this is going to be the time to do it, but that's not happening for Transocean right now. One number I want to highlight here, $249 million in interest expense. Now, if we go down a little bit further to, to the balance sheet, we see there is $7.3 billion in long-term debt. And given that interest expense, obviously that's a very high interest rate that Transocean's paying there. And here we get to the metrics that really tell us what's going on with the business. You can see that over the past year, average daily revenue for ultra deep water floaters has gone up pretty nicely. $306,000 a year ago, $360,000 per day right now. Harsh water environment prices have actually declined pretty significantly, about a $20,000 decline per day right there. But here is the biggest problem, is utilization. Utilization for ultra deep water floaters, 50%, only up slightly from a year ago. Harsh environment rigs, only about 50%, and that's down from 60% a year ago. At the end of the day, Transocean is really at the whim of oil explorers trying to, pro to provide drilling rigs and services to them as they go out to try to find more fossil fuels. But right now what we're seeing is a lot of the companies pull back on their spending very significantly from what they were spending in the mid 2010s. And that means that these rigs just don't have a lot to do right now. 50% utilization is really a bad number for Transocean. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be increasing significantly anytime soon. We're not seeing capital expending, we're, we're not seeing capital expenditures increase rapidly at oil companies. And frankly, the drilling rigs that we have today are getting more and more efficient. So that means less of them are needed to extract the same amount of oil. This is just a bad dynamic for Transocean. And if the company is not able to generate a profit right now, early in 2023, as we've passed a peak of high energy prices, I don't see a great recovery for the company. It's just a really challenging environment right now. Interest rates are rising and the company has a lot of debt on the balance sheet. I don't see that turning around very quickly. And so this is just a stock that I would stay away from right now. There are better places to put your money in the oil and gas market than betting it on offshore drilling right now. But what did you think about results? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Arrive Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you here next time.